Hello, manifestors. Let's talk about something that many, many of you are doing on a constant basis without seemingly understanding what you are doing. But it is affecting your results. So hopefully this video will help you understand what you are really doing versus what you're thinking that you are doing. Because once you know what you are really doing, it's going to be an eye opener. And you are going to be able to better, better use this law to manifest your desire rather than manifesting what you do not want. My name is Sylvian. I am a manifesting coach. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, or my complete manifesting guide, click on the link down below in the description box. That's going to lead you to my website where everything is at. But without further ado, let's get into our video. So interestingly, sometimes and even very recently, I had a client come to me talking to me about something they manifested about their specific person, saying, I did not imagine this. So what I want to say right off the bat, when you are facing specific circumstances in your 3D world, and you are saying, I did not imagine this, it is as if, even as a conscious manifester, all of a sudden, you reverted into thinking that life doesn't happen from you, but does happen to you. So the number one thing that I want you to remember, and I'm going to make this quick because I want to make this video very short. I don't have a lot of time to make this video today. So let's say I'm taking my own example, right? And actually recently, I manifested a version of someone that I absolutely didn't like at all, right? Now, did I go on blaming the world? Did I go on blaming anything outside of me, including that person themselves? No, not at all. If I manifested a version of someone which is opposite of what I consciously desire, I know, I know that it's still me. It is me who manifested that version of that person. So when you come to me talking to me about how someone came into your world, the version into which they came into your world, and telling me, I did not imagine that. Yes, you did. You know why? Because it's impossible to manifest in your world a version of a someone that you haven't at some point imagined. And the reason why you are fooling yourself into believing that you haven't imagined that person or that event to happen the way it happened is because you think, you still think in the back of your mind or you still believe maybe if you're still new at this, that you are imagining only, only when you close your eyes and go into this meditative state and visualize or hear a specific scene that implies that you have your desire. This is great if you're doing it, it's great. But this is not the only time in a day that you are imagining. And imagination creates reality all the time, not just when you are conscious of it. You are imagining all the time, not just 20 minutes a day when you go into a sat or into a meditation. What happens to your mind once you are done with your meditation, once you are done with your imaginal act? Or the next day when you wake up, even though you fell asleep in your sats, what happens to your mind? In what states are you dwelling? Because I promise you that even if you are very good at sats, right? You're doing your little sats 
20 minutes a day, but all day long, you revert into a state of not having, into your old state, the state where you don't have your desire. And this is what you are entertaining all day long. All day long, you are not in the state of the wish fulfilled. What do you think is going to win? Well, it's very easy. The answer is very easy. Neville talked about it. He said, it's your dominant state that will always win. It's the dominant state that always weigh heavier on the scale. And that makes sense, right? It's what you're doing more of that is going to win at the end of the day. That, that's logically understandable even, right? So, if you are, like, forcing yourself to go into a sat, to go into a meditative state for 20 minutes a day where, yeah, I have my SP, I have my money, I have my career, but all day long, you are more of the person that doesn't have that. You are even reacting to the fact that you don't have it. You keep on looking at 3D. You keep on looking at the clock, how much time has passed. Maybe if it's a specific person, you're thinking negative thoughts about them. You are having maybe arguments with them in your mind and so forth and so on. If you do that all day long and you didn't know this was imagination, that this was your imagination at work? I have news for you guys. This is imagination. Imagining is not only closing your eyes and going into a scene. Imagination includes all your thoughts, beliefs, assumptions, and inner conversations. You can even add daydreaming, all the images that are going through your mind, and even dreams. All of it is part of imagination. So when you are mostly having opposite and negative thoughts and beliefs and inner conversations about your SP, for example, and then they come in a version that you absolutely don't want to see, do not tell me I did not imagine that because I'll tell you, yes, you did. Not consciously, not willingly, granted, but yes, you did. And I apply this truth to my own self. When I manifested not long ago a version of someone that frankly was unrecognizable, not something that I wanted to see, I took full responsibility for having myself manifested that version of that person that I absolutely didn't want to see and experience. As a conscious manifester, I know too much. I know too much not to blame my own self my own assumptions, my own beliefs, my own imagination. I know it's nobody else's fault. It's all me. Because my consciousness is the only reality. There's nothing else in my world. And being powerful manifestors, that's what it means. It doesn't mean that we are powerful only when we manifest the versions of people that we want and everything that we want. We are so powerful that we have to be very careful of those deep down assumptions that we have. And by assumptions, I mean unwanted assumptions because they manifest as well because we are powerful manifestors. So beware of what you are doing with your mind and learn to become aware of what you are doing and what you've been doing until now, pretty much unconsciously. And when I say not consciously, it's not even true. A lot of times you are very conscious of your negative thinking. 
you are conscious of them, you even talk about them, you even mention them to me, how bad you felt, how this and that and the other. Well, when you're doing this and you're taking enough time to think it, write it, send it to me or tell me, you already have shifted into a state where you do not have your desire at all, where you have the opposite as a matter of fact. And if you understand states, they are instant, the moment when you go back into a state where you don't have your desire, well, you have manifested more of not having it. So this is why instead of taking the time to tell me about how bad you felt or you feel and expand on it, you need to stop it A S A P because that state that you have reverted into is already manifesting a result out there. Then when that negative result appears in your life, you're saying, I have never imagined that. And I know for a fact that you have. The thing is, we can fool ourselves, but we can't fool the law. We can't be double-minded and expect to manifest only the good stuff that we want. Because that double-mindedness is bound to manifest in one way or another. And then we can come and say, oh, I've never imagined that. Yes, you have. Most people, frankly, even in this community, still manifest on autopilot, still manifest by default because they are still not fully aware of what they are imagining. So when they manifest things that they don't want to see and hear and experience, they're saying, hmm, I know I didn't imagine that. But the thing is, imagination creates reality. There's nothing else that creates reality. But imagination can be also unconscious if you have not learned to become the observer of your mind and what's going on in there. Most likely, you are still manifesting on autopilot and pretty much unconsciously. So a huge part of our job as conscious manifester is to become aware, the most aware that we can, of what's going on in our mind, most of the time at least. Don't get lost in your opposite thoughts, in your opposite states, because if you get lost in there, don't be surprised that you are going to manifest just that. If, for example, for months and months and months, you have dwelt more in the state of not having your desire, no matter what your excuse is, by the way, there is no question about the why. The why you still don't have your desire is that. You need to be honest with yourselves. What have you dwelt in for the past month? Is it Having your desire or is it not having your desire? And I know for a fact from the people I deal with on a daily basis, the answer is they have mostly dwelt in the state of not having. Then you're surprised. You are still surprised as a conscious manifester that you don't have your desire because I'm not. And that applies to my own self. That applies to each one of us. We can't blame anything, anyone, but ourselves. By the way, guys, if you haven't watched my last video, What is Imagination? I suggest that you go on watching that now. And I hope this video was helpful for you to understand that you are imagining all the time. Not just when you are aware of it. So what you need to do is become aware of what's going on in your mind, not sometimes, but all the time, as much as you can. And do not dwell ever as much as you can in a state where you don't have your desire. Because you can fool yourself, 
but you can't fool the law. You are manifesting exactly what you have been imagining in the past. But the moment you change, like right now, the moment you change that, you become aware and awake and on top of your state of having your desire, then this is bound to manifest in the near future as per linear time goes. Thank you for watching guys. Please like the video if you liked it. Comment and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and I'll see you next time.